Hello everybody, welcome back to my big sister. So, I'm thinking this might be the final episode, but I guess we'll know by the time we're watching this what the title says about it. Oh yeah, we should probably save. Didn't do that before. So, I think we're pretty much like at an end here. Seems like it might have multiple endings depending on what I do, so hopefully I do not mess this up. Hey, the final room is unlocked. I guess we can go see what's in here. This room feels warmer. It smells like burnt leather. A burnt note? It's time. It's time to end this mess. The loot must be broken. I can't go through all this again. The old lady has to go. The one who starts the loot is the one that ends it. Luzia, when you wake up, don't hesitate. Kill her. The old lady? Ah, uh, but is this a trap? Ah. Uh. So this is our fourth loot. So one, two, three. We've had three loops already, so this one's our fourth loop. Um, maybe more than four. <laughs> I might have been wrong. I might have been a little uh, inaccurate with that last statement I made. <laughs> if these are all past uh, Luzia's. Uh, hey zombie, I'm gonna I'm gonna come talk to this guy first. You just kind of do your thing. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go over there and talk to you now. H hey, are you okay, zombie? We're almost home. What home? Our home. We don't have a home, Luzia. Of course we do. Please don't give up on me now. Luzia, answer me something. What do you remember about mother? Well, not much. She was never around. I guess she was too busy working at the hospital. Luzia, we don't have a mother. W what do you mean? S she died over a year ago. I'm sorry. I've been lying about her coming home late. That's the reason I've been sending you to bed early. B but her car... I hear her pull up every night. That was my boyfriend. I've been lying to you this whole time. I don't know who to trust anymore. For the first time in my life, I feel empty. Luzia, I... I... Hey, little one, come here, quick. Stop listening to the lies. What? Lies? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, it's just one lie after another. Sorry, little one. But I cannot help overhearing your conversation. What's it matter anyways? Ha ha ha! You don't believe that garbage, do you? What do you mean? What did I say earlier, hmm? Uh, I forget. He's really good at blocking things, covering doorways. Well, at least we're out the other end. End of what? Ho ho, the tunnel. Oh, I see the Tunnel of Sorrows has affected your mind somehow. The Tunnel of Sorrows? When the train passes through the tunnel, your worst doubts emerge. The tunnel shows you the worst possible things that could happen to you. So it was all a dream? Well, sort of, my tiny friend. More like a mirage. So none of it was real? See, that's the thing. It could be real. If you want it to be real, then it will become real. Can I ask you something? Fire away, little missy. What do you see when you go through the tunnel? You know, nobody has ever asked me that before. What I saw was me crashing this train. Killing every passenger. Except me. Is that what happened to you? I should have slowed down. That corner, the ice. How do you know this? This is going to sound strange, but I remember. I remember being a passenger on this train when it crashed. I just can't remember why I was on this train. Then I must say, I deeply apologize, little one. How did you die? In my home. I thought I could drink away the pain. Instead, I made it worse. Once I had joined my passengers, I could understand what it felt like to be let down. They depended on me. It wasn't your fault. These things happen. We don't control life. Life controls us. Are you sure you're the little girl I spoke to earlier? You sound a lot older. I don't know what it is happening to me. But whatever it is, I feel it has almost consumed me. 
like I'm finally about to wake up. Well, you are truly remarkable, little one. How is Stretch doing? He didn't make it. Poor kid. I'm sorry. It's okay, little one. He has arrived at his final station. Speaking of which, so are we. Wow, this is just some fucking deep, dark shit. Wake up, please. The Tunnel of Sorrows. It shows us our worst realities. I couldn't tell her the truth about what I saw, but it will haunt me forever. Oh, what is this? What? And that was the last time I stayed at the Dayfield Motel. Ah, uh, I wish you would just wake up, Luzia, so we can go home. Please. I can't stand to see you like this anymore. I want my sister back. M my real sister back. Please, if you can hear me, give me a sign. It's been three weeks now. I hope the fourth one is the charm. I don't think that's how it goes. It doesn't matter. You will wake up, I know it. I just do. Please. I, I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. I wish I had slowed down. The corner, the car. I wish we never even went to see Mom that day. I'm so sorry, Luzia. Because of my mistake, you will never wait, walk again. Just please wake up. I, I guess I just, I'll just have to wait until you're ready. Christ. I need a smoke. I'll be right back, Luzia. Zombie? We need to go home. What? Our last stop. Well, this is it. Our farm's not too far from the station. I hope you know what you're doing, Luzia. We're all counting on you. What the fuck? A subway station? Where is home? Zombie? I, I remember this place. I used to come here all the time. When I was upset. You did? Why were you upset? I just get like that sometimes. I can't explain it. So you're depressed? Yes. I'm not even surprised by your intelligence anymore. Luzia, I've been like this for a very long time. Does mom know? No. I don't like to share this with anyone. But you told me. Who else have you told? Just my therapist. I basically tell him everything. But he doesn't help. Isn't he supposed to? I guess, but he... Look, never mind. You can tell me. I I can't. I'm sorry, Luzia. I just need some time to myself, please. Okay, I'm going to do some exploring. Do you remember where the exit is? I can't remember right now. Okay, but don't go anywhere. You can be depressed here, okay? Luzia. Lighten up, zombie. It's just a joke. I'll be back soon. Okay. Holy crap. This game is just a whole bag of emotions and depression. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where I'm going. I guess up here to the bathrooms first. It's another sink. <laughs> There's a loose pipe here. It could be useful. Okay, got a loose pipe. Nothing special about it. Okay. I can't use this here. Okay. So bathrooms are of no use. Let's go the other way now. Man, I can't talk to her. Might as well save the game. So, is she like in a coma? Is she dead now? Or I... I'm just really confused. It's just jumping all around. What? Huh? Okay, yeah, you just book it. What was that? So hungry. Hey, there's something in the tray. It's a candy bar. A very old candy bar. Yuck. Maybe Zombie will eat it. <laughs> so considerate. I could enter through here if I were a lot smaller. I need to find something to widen the gap. Alright, I think I know. But, checking still first. Alrighty. I'll use this to pry open the window. I can just unlock the door now. There we go. 
That's innovation for you. It's an old computer. At least it still works. What's this? Gate control? It must open the gate next door. But it says it needs power, of course. Backup generator located in the basement. Access basement by elevator. How am I going to use an elevator without power? <laughs> True that. Alright, so we need to turn on the power somehow. It's not working. I wonder where it goes. Boy, am I hungry. Too bad I don't have any money. Let's go see a zombie once that uh, candy bar before we do anything. Nope. Mmm, chocolate. Alright. It's a long way down. A long way down. But, it smells like chocolate? Okay. How about the candy bar? Can I do some of that? This seems so stupid. Wait. What is that sound? Chocolate worked. What are you? Shake's head. Can you talk? Shake's head. Can you understand me? Okay, can understand me. Okay, I need to reach the basement. Is there a way down? Points to candy bar. You want this? Okay, go ahead and have it. Well, could you do me a favor? I need to turn on the backup generator. Hey, where did you go? What's that sound? Hey, you did it. Here you go, you deserve it. Aw, what a nice guy. An elevator gremlin. Hey! Okay, now we have power. Look at that. There's a strange sound coming from this tunnel. I think I'll leave it for now. Yeah, I don't blame you. Die, question mark? Is that really much of a question? Who? What are you? Boop. <laughs> Boop. Hee <laughs> hee. Another one to play with. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? I asked first. I don't feel like this, this would be the voice for this person. Well, you're cheeky, aren't you? I am Virginia. <laughs> Virginia. <laughs> but everyone calls me Verd. Virginia acted to Mickey, so now Guko and K K Kristen Stewart must fight. Yes, Virginia. I have friends, you know. So what are you doing here? My sister and I are trying to get home. We just got off the train. Train? Trains haven't come through this subway for ten years. Wait. How can you see me right now? You're alive. I don't know. So you're a ghost, huh? I'm not a ghost. I'm a girl. Ugh, yeah. I'm just a dead girl. What is your name? My name's Luzia. I think. Luzia? I know who you are. You know me already? Yeah. You're the one that did this to us. What? Me? Yes, you witch. Um, no. Witch? Thanks to you, we're all stuck in limbo. What are you talking about? Don't act dumb with me. You're the Red Witch. What? That's not true. That's impossible! <laughs> you are. You're just a little girl? That's because I'm not the witch. All of us deadies now know who you are. To obtain one's true desire, the Red Witch will conspire. You cannot lie to me. But I'm not me. Am I really the witch? Why does everyone hate me? Because you left us all in the purgatory. In this godforsaken loop. The loop? Did I create the loop? You don't know your own story? Damn, you really did lose your mind. I don't remember anything. The last thing I remember is waking up. I couldn't sleep, so I went to find Sombria. Hey! I know Sombria. She's the girl that comes here to cry. To cry? She said she comes here when she's... Depressed? Yeah, she does depress a lot. <laughs> Why did I create this loot? To punish us. You put all of us in purgatory. All for your sister's sake. My sister? What are you talking about? Do you know why your sister comes here all the time? Because she's depressed? Aha! 
Nah. All of us have a tragic story of how we died. Your sister is looking for hers too. No, zombie? You created a loop to trap her and all of us here. Just so you could keep her alive. Just let her die. So we all can. I... I can't. You don't understand. She's my sister. I don't understand. I'm already dead. I can't move on. We all have to make choices that we don't like. What would happen if she did? We could all move on. The loop would be broken. I have a hard choice to make. You owe us. We've suffered a lot longer than you have. Please. I need to speak to Sombria. I'll be back. Well, I ain't going nowhere. Thanks to you. <laughs> okay. Sorry. What the fuck? Okay. This story's still confusing as all heck balls. Live? Exit. Oh, zombie's in there. I can't leave without a zombie. She's in the bathroom. Alright, to the bathroom. Hello, zombie. Is a zombie? I can hear you in there. I need to talk to you. Please, leave me alone. You know I can't do that, right? You're my big sister. I'm supposed to be around you to annoy you. You, you, you don't understand. Luzia, you will never understand. A zombie? I do understand. I understand what it's like to be alone. To have no one. To have no life left to live. That's why I made the loop. You just say, wait, what? I know who I really am now. I am the one who caused all this. You can't be. I made this loop to protect you. To protect me from what? From killing yourself. Killing myself? It's starting to make sense now. Sombria, this is the place where you die. You are not my sister. I was scared. I was scared that I might lose you. I was never going to. I was going to chicken out. Sometimes we don't chicken out. I know I can't stop you, even though I tried to. I know this is not my choice. It's yours. I can't save you. But I can help you. We still have a shot to break the loop. You need to trust me. Please. I... Okay. We need to do this together. I think you were right about what you said before. About what? That this feels like someone else's problem. I don't know what is going to happen. But I want you there when something does. Luzia, thank you. For everything. So are you coming? In a minute. I sort of need to go while I'm in here anyway. Okay, I'll meet you at the exit. Oh, I found this doll. Do you want it? It looks old though. Oh, an old plush doll has marks in inappropriate places. What the hell is with the fascination of this doll? This creepy ass doll. All right. Well, this is probably gonna have quite the depressing ending. I can already kind of tell, but maybe not. Maybe it'll have a good ending, who knows? So now we just need to get to the exit. Hello. So, what's that gonna be, witch? I've made my decision, and I'm going to break the loop. Really? I'm going to be free from this nightmare? Yes, we all will. Including my sister. What? No. Please. We have suffered enough. I don't know if I am one who made the loot, but I do know that I am the one to end it. Let her die. It's the only way. No. There is another. <laughs> I know there is. There are so many Star Wars references. Fine. Just leave us here. You witch. Bird. Go away. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, so I don't know where in the heck I'm going to be putting this clip. Uh, prop, Because this is like way in the future. But I decided to come back anyways. Because I actually found out that this doll that we got that we never ended up using can actually go to the spirit... And when we give it to her, before I go, I thought you might want your doll back. M Molly? Where did you find her? My sister found her. 
I, l I lost her over ten years ago. I died trying to find her. I fell onto the tracks. How did you know she was mine? I know what it's like to lose someone special. It's a special sense you get. Thank you. We're just like you, trying to find a way home. It looks like I was told a lie. Huh? The noodle lady was wrong about you. The noodle lady? She talks about the story of the Red Witch all the time. But she never mentioned you to be so nice. The noodle lady told you I was the Red Witch? She said only the Red Witch can break the loot. But to break it, she must spill the blood of her sister. I I'm sorry for how I acted back there. I've forgotten that I was once uh, I was once was alive. I will break the loop, I promise. Good luck, Luz. Huh? What is it? There's that laugh again. We... Good luck, Luzia. So that was pretty interesting, but I don't know exactly what comes after this, but I guess after we do this, we can actually now go up here. And I have no idea what's going to actually be up here. I can hear her laughing. The fuck? Who are you? Don't you remember me? You're me. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm actually Luzia, thank you very much. You're just a cranky old lady. What are you talking about? Want to play games, huh? I love to play games. She naked? How about truth or dare? What? Uh, truth or dare? Okay, okay, truth. Playing it safe, huh? Okay. Have you ever kissed a boy? <laughs> no? Haha. -ha. Okay, your turn. Truth or dare, ha? Huh? What you gonna do now? I... I don't know. Well, I dare you to kill me. Come on, kill me. No. Kill yourself. It's getting pretty dark. Truth. Why are you naked? <laughs> it's a valid question. Because I've got nothing to hide. Truth. Wait, isn't it my turn? We've all had enough turns at this game. I want you to end it. Truth. How do I end the loot? Kill the Red Witch. Truth. Who is the Red Witch? Luzia. Dare. Kill me. Please. For Sombria. Why is that your answer? Zombie has suffered enough for me, ever since I was little. All I ever did was get in her way and interrupt her life. I don't deserve someone like her. Go home. Huh? Just go. Now. Self-sacrifice. Your mother was pathetic in giving you my name. I did what was possible to keep my daughters alive. But you're not going to take them away from me. Okay. Alright. Well, I don't understand that. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to throw this clip in somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to throw this in uh, this episode, the episode with uh, the train station or what. So yeah. Alright, back to whatever whatever I ended up deciding to cut, interrupt for. <laughs> that, there's no way that was uh, on accident. Break or strengthen? We're home. It's finally over. Or is it? The truth lies in the reflection of my name. We made it. Zombie, we're finally home. Yes, we did. It's good to finally see home again. And now we can stop this cursed loop and bring you back to normal. Right? I, I guess so. Are you feeling alright, Luzia? I feel great, just like pickles. Why, aren't you feeling good too? Oh, uh, I am, but you seem different. You seem normal. Um, what are you talking about? I've always been normal. You seem less intelligent than before. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> are you calling me dumb? No, I don't mean it like that. Well, you're ugly and stupid. And you look like a freak. Maybe I am just a freak after all. That's right, run! <laughs> what the fuck? Why is Luzia a jerk all of a sudden? 
I mean, maybe it's just supposed to be a character, but it's just coming off as a little harsh after that big heart-to-heart -heart moment. Where'd she go? The big crybaby? Oh, we're already fighting again. That's enough imagination for me. It's the old lady. Hey, what are you doing in our house? Oh, me? I thought I'd drop by. Just to see if you two made it back, all right. It took a while, but we made it. So where's your sister? Zombie? <laughs> Probably crying in her room. Serves her right for calling me dumb. Now that is not very sisterly, is it? I don't care. She should be nice to me. Yeah, she should. That's right. She should. It's not like she thanked me for helping her get home or anything. And it was me who did everything. Maybe we should remind her of your efforts, Luzia. Yes. But how? Just tell her how ungrateful she was for your help. That she just got in your way. Let's not do that. Yes. She is going to get it. No, oh, let's not... Let's not do that. There's a picture on here. Uh, not another sink. <laughs> it's zombie's mug. It smells like cigarettes. Toaster. I remember when the zombie caught her hand. Wow. That's not even funny anymore. What in the hell is going on? It's pretty dark outside. This is terrible. I don't need to do that. Maybe I should. I can hear something. It sounds like someone calling my name. Should I call back? It's the basement door. It's locked. But the door looks like it's going to fall off anyway. The screws on the hinges are loose. It's a mirror. What? What? The reflection in her name. It's the reflection of her name. Is this correct? It said that it's a reflection of her name. Maybe backwards? Maybe it's zombie? Hmm. Reflection in the name. Does so Luzia have a full name? Yeah, I'm not sure. So, I guess I'll just go upstairs. Maybe the puzzle will be... Maybe I'll see something up here. I don't want to go into her room and give her shit. There's nothing in here but my uncle's lucky screwdriver. It could be useful. Say your prayers. Screws. Oh! Now I can go open that up anyways. Hmm, I think I'll go for a glass of milk. That should help me sleep. I don't know if I should... I don't want to go in there because I'm worried that like I'll automatically just start pretty much roasting her as soon as I go in. I'm not going to get milk, though, either. What? Is someone there? It's another one of those uh, people. Hello? Luzia, is that really you? What are you? It's me. Please remember. Are you, um, somber, yeah? It's me. M mom Oh, it is Mom. Y yes, my sweetheart. Mom? What happened to you? This is going to sound strange to you. I don't know at this point, but your sister did this. She created this place, these people, these stories. This is all zombies' fault? Yes and no. See, your sister is a very special girl, so I'm not special. <laughs> you girls are very special to me. I mean, Sombria is a witch. Zombie's the red witch? Yes. How do you know that? All this time, I thought I was. You've been speaking to the noodle lady, have you? Yes, how do you know that? It's the loot. Everything that you've seen, heard, and felt. They're all just distractions. What do you mean? It's Sombria's emotions, her imagination. She created all of it. But why? Because she's depressed, right? Yes. I've tried to talk to her, 
but she won't listen to me. I, I tried to break the loop myself, but I failed. That's why I'm here. But you still have a chance, Luzia. But why me? I haven't been myself lately. Because you two are sisters, Luzia. For some reason, you both can understand each other. I can't explain it. But you two have a special connection with each other. Y you share each other's thoughts, emotions, and imagination. I guess parents just don't get it. But Luzia, you have to kill Sombria. Oh. But I can't. It's the only way. Luzia, please. I'd rather have it any other way. But this is the only way. I can't kill my sister. You have to, Luzia. Please, it will bring everything to peace. Even your sister. How do I know you're not lying to me? You were never there when we needed you. Luzia, I did everything I could for you girls. I even risked my own life to save Sombria. I've sacrificed myself to make sure you both have a life. Please, you have to trust me. But well, how would I kill her? I left you a clue under Zombie's door. I'm not sure if you got it earlier, so I put it on the refrigerator. Please, do this for Sombria. Oh, I... I... Sigh, I know. I can't make up your mind for you. That's for you to decide, and you only. Just promise me something, Luzia. Yes, Mommy? Never forget that I love you both so very, very much. I won't, I promise. Mom? Mom? Alright. Well, shit. There's a shovel. It's Mom's gardening shovel. Mom. <laughs> then I just hold her up. Alright. I still don't know what this would be. I don't know. Ah, uh, the old lady's gone. Oh, I gotta dig up one of the things on the side of the building. Ah, uh, hello, old lady. Feeling sick, my darling? You took your time in there. Yes, I was sick. My poor darling. Once you're done up there, I'll make you a bowl of noodles. Oh, okay. Is there something wrong, Luzia? You seem shaken. Uh, who, me? I'm fine. Well, okay. If you say so. I'll wait here until you return. I just want to say thanks for helping me understand Sombria. Oh, you're very welcome, my dear. I know what I have to do. Yeah, going right outside. Gonna go out here and apparently dig some shit up. What? What? I can't? Hey, trash can. Come here. Another bobby pin. How many does Zombie need to keep these those balls of her hair up? <laughs> Alright, well, I got another bobby pin. It's the butcher's knife. There's some writing on the handle. What? He trusts me with knives now. <laughs> Giggle. What did it say? I didn't even get to read it. Oh, well. <laughs> the crown is soft to you. Only if I had a shovel. What, can I just keep on... Whoop. Oh... I can only use it once. Alright, well, I got a knife now. Guess I'll save. I don't know if I trust where this is going. I just do not know. Alright, well, I can't even do anything with her now. Wait. Hey, can I ask you something? Who, me? Yes, you. You can ask me anything, my dear. Okay. Truth or dare? What? This isn't the time to be playing games. Truth or dare? Fine. Truth. Who are you? I've told you before. I am Yokono Kagam. You're lying again. Luzia, you shouldn't be putting your nose into... You seemed so eager to play this game with me before. So play it with me now. Who are you? I'm Luzia, Sombria's conscience. I'm an older envision of you. But a far better one. Truth or dare? Wait, don't I get a turn? Haven't you had enough turns at this game? Truth or dare? Truth. Why am I so different now? <sighs> Haven't you noticed anything lately? Now that your mother is gone, your personality will change back to its stupid old self. 
Your pathetic mother's spirit was infused with yours. Until she died, ha! She failed to break the loop. Now you will follow in her footsteps. Truth or dare? Enough of this pathetic game. Your time is up, Luzia. Truth or dare? Dare! What are you gonna do about that? <laughs> I d dare you. I dare you. What? What do you dare me to do? I dare you to listen to my little secret. A secret? <laughs> is that all? Okay, Luzia. What's your secret? Thank you. Oh. For telling me the truth. Finally. Okay, well, I killed my conscience. I didn't kill a uh, zombie, though, like I was supposed to. I'll let her stay in there until she wants to be nice to me. Besides, it's locked anyways, and I am awfully quiet. Got a bobby pin. Aha, a hey, zombie. I just want to check on you. Zombie, she's gone. She told you, didn't she? She told you everything. She did. So what are you going to do now? I have to do what is right. Then do it. Okay. Huh? Where are you going? I'm going to bed. It's late. What do you mean it's late? Why won't you kill? Because I don't have to. I may be 12, but I can tell when the story is done. I'll see you in the morning. But how? Gee, you're up early. I wanted to eat some cereal. I can see that. So, about last night? You mean this morning? Yes, I mean this morning. Yeah? How did you know? How did I know what? How did you know how to break the loot? Oh, that. Wild guess. <laughs> see what I did was... And then... Oh, and I also... And voila! Can you not talk with your mouthful? It's disgusting. There, your majesty. Thank you. Now, before you say anything, I want to say... Love you, big sis. And I love you too, you little knucklehead. If you tell anyone I said that, I'll really kill you. Yeah, sure. Hey, listen. Do you want to go grab some waffles or something at Daisy's? Ah, I haven't had waffles in ages. You better not be lying to me. Come on, go get ready. I'm already ready. Happily ever after. We did it! It's finally over! Thank you, Luzia. Was that really it? It's been a while since we've been here. Where are my damned waffles? <laughs> hey, take it easy, tiger. I need waffles. Sorry, sis, but I need something other than noodles. Wow, I don't think you... I didn't think you'd ever get sick of food. Hey, now, I said noodles, not food. You leave food alone. Okay, okay, jeez. I see you're back to your normal self again. Yeah. I know, Luzia. I'm sorry about mom. It's okay. You couldn't help it. I know she's still here, nagging us to brush our teeth and stuff. Eh, maybe you do need to brush your teeth. You mean this whole time you were off the hook? I would have made you brush your teeth with the toilet brush. Heh, <laughs> it's good to have you back, Luzia. And you too, big sis. You know, hmm? You still haven't told me how you figured all this out. I know, it's our little secret. Our secret? But you haven't told me. No, not you. The person behind the screen. Ah. Okay, Luzio, whatever you say. <laughs> hey, after breakfast, I want to show you something. What is it? My little secret. Okay, but it better not be a crab with a knife. Those things are dangerous. Luzio, you need to stop watching too much TV. <laughs> I was going to say, pretty sure that'd be the computer, not TV. Who knows? So, what do you think? Think of what? This place. It's okay, I guess. Okay? This is my secret I was telling you about. Oh. 
it's okay, I guess. <laughs> uh, I used to come here every day after school. It's relaxing. Lucky this place has a swing. Otherwise, it would be boring. Uh, nothing ever pleases you, does it? Yeah, some things. Like what? Like, stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Is it weird talking to me like this? Well, yeah, a little. You've never been this happy before. Yeah, that is weird. So what's gonna happen now? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to look after you. Seeing how I know. It'll be okay. Now that I have my big sis looking after me. I can stay up as late as I want. <laughs> oh no, you ain't. If you disobey me, you're living with Auntie Claire. What? No! Her house is way too creepy. Besides, she'll make me sleep with baby Mark. He'll keep me up all night. Hey, Luzia. Calm down, I'm just kidding. Hey, zombie. If you're the witch, where's your pointy hat and broom? <laughs> Luzia, I think this would be the best time to tell you. We come from a very strange family. Mom once told me that you and I share our great ancestors' gifts. A gift? Like superpowers? Ha! No more, like, unnatural abilities. Well, that's what Mom called it. Mom made me see that therapist every week. Because you were depressed? Yeah. She wanted me to control my emotions. But when I couldn't control them anymore, I created the loop. Please don't make another one. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of noodles anymore. Haha, <laughs> I don't think I will lose ya. Lose ya. I'm free to do what I want now. Except smoking. You promised. I said maybe, Luzia. Hmm, okay. Hey, zombie. Hmm. What's my gift? I, I don't know, Luzia. Mom said you did have one. She just said you have a great imagination. That's not really a gift. Everyone has an imagination, zombie. I guess you just have one of a kind. Apparently amazing guitar skills, too. Well, dang! I feel like I was supposed to fuck up more there in the ending or something to get more out of that. Because that just felt pretty abrupt. I mean, good thing is, it seems like I got the good ending, though. Alright, well, as per usual, I'm gonna watch through the credits if anything ends up happening. But god dang, this game is awesome. Uh, I'll skip through the credits. I'll let you guys know if anything happens. So, see you then. Thank you for playing my big sister. Oh, dang. We can actually do a chapter select. Break or strengthen our last stop. Man, so I guess I actually could go back and uh, see some things. But you know what? I'm actually not going to do that. Because if you guys want to know what some alternative endings to this game are, I fully suggest you go out and you throw your money at this game. Because this game is freaking awesome. And I loved it. So... <laughs> I could be showing you guys all the different kinds of uh, scenarios there at the ending and stuff, but I really believe, because this game, as far as I know, it's on Steam, it's on Xbox, it's on PS4, it's on like pretty much everything, so you don't really have an excuse not to be able to go out there and pick it up. It's not an expensive game, and definitely support it, because this game is freaking awesome. I really love this one. So, all right, guys. So I decided to back out of the whole like not showing uh, anything else because... Uh, I was like, oh man, I wonder what the mirror puzzle thing is. So I actually looked it up. I only know what the password is, but as soon as I started typing it in, uh, it mentioned something about like, oh yeah, true ending. You guys will see in a bit. So the password, which I probably should have guessed, is actually Sheena. Ah, you called my name. It seems my mother was wrong. You are the smart one, not Luzia. Now that we're finally meeting, would you like to see something? I can show you the true ending to this story. See, I got to this point and I was like, oh man, I should probably film this and like still put it in the video, depending on what it is. So you guys will see if I either throw it in there or not. So I don't know what this is going to be. Are you ready? Then kill my mother and save somebody. Okay. Never mind, guys. <laughs> Back to how things were. All right. So apparently. If you solve that mirror puzzle and then do everything exactly like how I did it before, you actually get an alternative ending just for that. And I know I said I wasn't going to do the alternative endings, but this one seems like a more, uh... 
from what I can tell, I don't know exactly what it is, but it looks like it's probably a more um, detailed ending or more bigger ending. I don't know. I have to do what is right, then do it. Okay. Huh? Where are you going? I'm going to bed. It's late. Uh, why won't you kill? Because I don't have to. Maybe I'm 12, but I can tell when the story is done. I'll see you in the morning. But how? Sombria. Huh? She doesn't know, does she? No. What? She doesn't know? How many times has she been in this godforsaken loop? She needs to wake up. You know she won't. She needs to die. Wait, is that what you saw in the tunnel, Sombria? You know you cannot save her. I can try. She saved me, remember? Besides, she's my sister. And that's why Mr. Gustav had a drinking problem. Mr. Gustav, the train conductor guy. Mom said she would be here soon. I don't see what's taking her so long. She works here. Uh, who am I kidding? You can't hear me anyways. Excuse me, Derry. Huh? Can you please keep it down? I'm waiting for my daughters to arrive and I can't hear them. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll keep my voice down for you. Thank you. Alright. So now I'm playing zombie. This is about as far as I got. And I was like, well, this, this looks like a lot of crap's going on. I think this is... That looks like a little jacket. That might be, uh... The red, the one that we originally thought. Athena, Athena, whatever her name is. Ashina. I think this guy might be... Hey, Soms, how's it going? I think this is the butcher, maybe. I don't know, though. Not so good. Still worried about Luzia, huh? She's a tough kid. She'll be all right. I hope so. Still seeing the psychologist? Got no choice. Either this or jail. What did you do to win that deal? Tried to rob a gas station with a butcher's knife and a mask? <laughs> so yeah, I think that's the butcher. But I couldn't do it in the end. Why not? I scared the kid standing next to me. I just couldn't do it after I saw her cry. So I gave her a candy bar and waited for the cops. Oh, I got you something. It's on the bench. Hot dog? Oh, cool, a candy bar. Cops. At least you did the right thing. Yeah, I guess. Are you seeing him today? Nah, I don't really want to see him anymore. I don't blame you. The guy is a creep. Anyways, I'll probably be ready to go in soon. Well, good luck in there. Thanks. I'll catch up. Uh, catch you later, Soms. Then a little girl. I wonder if she's the doll. She kind of looks like a doll. That's a cute doll you have there. Hey, thanks. Her name's Molly. Ah! Ah, I know, bird. Now don't you lose her again. I won't, Sombria. Please call me Zombie. Ah, Luzia always does. How's Luzia? She's been here for a long time now. She's doing really well. So I guess that's how I should have known that it, it, who the doll belongs to. I'm sure she'll wake up soon. Then she can play with me and Molly. Want to play tea party? Sorry, bird. I've got stuff to do. Okay. So, oh hey, it's that uh got that thing that we fed noodles to. Hey, and it's the conductor. Hey, remember me? Oh, that's that must be Stretch. Oh yeah, you're some some Boro, right? Actually, it's Sombria. But that was a pretty good guess. I'm sorry about that. I don't usually come in here. Well, only to use the vending machine. The only one at the hotel is. I know, I know, it's broken. You say that every day when you come here. I come here every day? Yep, every break you have. I notice that you never buy anything from the machine. Well, what do you mean? I buy snacks from the machine all the time. Okay, okay, mister, I'm not making it obvious. Just make sure you don't stare at my butt for too long. Was that really that obvious? I'm so sorry. It's fine. I've known for a while now. I feel like an idiot. I should hide in a closet somewhere and never come out. Well, maybe you should. But then you wouldn't be able to see my butt. I promise I won't look at it anymore. You can look at it whenever you want. But next time, just talk to me. It's a much better way to break the ice. Okay, thanks, Sombria. That's weird still. Oh yeah, go ahead and just have a look-see whenever you wanna. Ah, Sombria, my darling. How's the little one? She's getting much better. The doctor said she'd wake up any time now. That's grand news, young one. I wish all the best for you, younger sibling. Thanks, Gustav. How's everything with you? 
Well, so far everything is good. I have cut back to drinking, and I can't return. And I can return to work next week. Well, maybe. That's still good news. I wish the best for you, and hope you can drive those trains again soon. Thank you, young one. You're a very nice girl, and I'm sure your sister will be fine. Thank you. Now time for a little uh, nap. Ugh. So everything here is very clearly supposed to be like what she's been imagining this whole time. I'm not in the mood for talking. Talk to my sister. She never shuts up. Okay. Hey, can I ask something? Oh, it's like the two ghosts. Uh, sure. Who does your hair? It's so cute. Uh, thanks. My mom does it for me. It's a traditional look, apparently. She looks more like a big mouse. I don't know why you want to look like her, Sheena. Ah, don't mind her. She's just jealous. More like you're jealous. Yeah, right. The only thing I would be jealous about is that you're taller than me. Ah, steal her legs, her taller legs. <laughs> she has really nice legs, you know? <laughs> See? Jealous. Yes, I know. You both fight about this every day. You girls visiting your mother again? Yes. No. How come your mother is a lot older than you two? Well, she's not really our mother. She's our grandmother. Our mother died and she just took over. You can th thank her for that. She died giving birth to her. I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. We have a new mother now. Yeah, what's left of her, that is. I'll catch up with you two later. Ah, wow, that's depressing. Okay, talk to you later. I still love your hair. <laughs> that's still depressing. Alright, so these are all characters in the hospital that she is, like, coming across and creating her own thing. What, did I just leave? Christ, I muted that. It's getting too cramped in there. We need to go home, Luzia. I know you can pull through. I just want us to forget this ever happened, but I can't. It'll haunt me till the day I die. Just please be alright, Luzia. I better see how Luzia is doing, although I already know nothing has changed, and maybe it never will. Alright. Zombie? Hey, she's awake! Luzia, can you please keep it down? I'm trying, I'm trying to listen out for my... Oh, shut up yourself, you old cave bat. <laughs> Your daughter's already here. They are? S zombie? Yes, Luzia, I'm here. We need to go home. Yes, we do, and now we can. I can't believe you're... We need to go home. Oh, shit. <laughs> Luzia, don't go, please. Jesus. What? <laughs> huh? Psych! <laughs> what a jackass! <laughs> but, ow. Oh, I've been awake for the last couple of days now. <laughs> I just unplugged my heart machine cord. What a jackass! <laughs> Jeez, zombie, take it easy. It's just a prank. <laughs> a prank? I'll show you a prank. Can you please keep it? If you open your mouth again, I will choke you with your fluid cord. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Zombie, calm down. I'm I'm sorry, Luzia. I was really scared. <laughs> scared of what? That you wouldn't wake up. Duh, that's what happens after you sleep. You wake up. <laughs> Luzia, I want to say I'm sorry for everything. I just wanted to show Mom I can be responsible. And it seems like I failed both of you. It's not your fault, Zombie. It is, Luzia. Because of me, you will never walk again. That's because I'm lying down, you dummy. <laughs> I guess they haven't told you yet. Oh, wait. I know what you're talking about. The doctor said I'll be fine. It was just a scratch. Can you believe it? This is too good to be true. Yeah, he thought I was someone else. The nurse gave him the wrong files. Oh, and they gave me cake to say sorry. Why doesn't anybody tell me anything? <laughs> hey, pipe down. You'll upset Granny next door. I'm sorry. I just can't believe this all happened. Right under my nose. Hey, can we get some waffles? I've got a bad craving for some waffles. Okay, sure. I'll see the nurse about your discharge. Ew. She made it. I love my little sister so much. Thank you, Luzia. Oh, and then it looks like...
looks like it probably continues the same. Since Waffles has been here, where are my damn waffles? <laughs> I need waffles, sorry sis. For, but I've been in a coma for like ever. Okay, okay, I see you're back to your normal self again. No, I'm back to my hungry self. Where are these damn waffles? Hey, Luzia, can I show you something after breakfast? It's sort of my secret place to chill out. It's not a boring place, is it? No way, it's got everything. A swing, a great view, a big old tree. Does it have dinosaurs? Well, no. Then it doesn't have everything. <laughs> ah, little sis, I've missed you. And I miss you too, zombie. In your long arms. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, this is the better ending. This is definitely a better ending. So what do you think? Think of what? this place. It's pretty neat. It has a swing after all. Well, at least you're enjoying yourself. This is my secret place. I usually come here to chill out, but I can't anymore. How come? Because I have to babysit you, silly. But now we can enjoy it together. Hey, zombie. Mm hmm? Who are all those people? What people? All the people at the hospital. They said goodbye to you when we were leaving. Oh, they were just the regulars. I've been visiting you every day, so I got to know them. Huh, the funny thing is, though, mm -hmm, they were all in my dream, but they weren't people. They were ghosts. That's the imagination of a girl who, who watches too much TV. Hey, at least I have an imagination. Yours would just be about boys and depressing music, <laughs> and I wouldn't change it for the world. Speaking of boys, you still seeing that loser? Jeez, when did you learn all these fancy words? <laughs> and now, I caught him making out with another girl in the back of his truck. Doesn't he move furniture in that? He did, until I rang his boss. Kissing in a truck? Ew, that's gross. Luzia, don't ever change. I won't. But only if we can stay up late and watch some scary movies. Well, okay. Just don't tell mom. That was the far better ending. <laughs> so she was just in a coma. You know what's funny is originally I was thinking like, oh, this is probably all just a dream anyways and stuff. But actually that was like the more like happy ending. They still have a mom. She's just busy all the time. She just pretty much everything was a dream. Ah, oh, that was so good. All right. So I, I don't know if I have enough time to throw this uh, into the other episode. I probably do. I don't know how much time was in that other episode. Or if I'm going to have to make this into its own separate episode. I wasn't going to do the alternative endings, but this one seemed like the more real ending, the true ending, quote unquote. So I made sh I made sure I wanted to do it. So uh, I wanted you guys to see this one for sure. I didn't know anything up until like uh, the hospital. Once I noticed that I was playing as a uh, uh, zombie. I ended up just being like, oh, you know what, maybe I should restart and like actually record this because it seemed like it was going to be important. So <laughs> I really like that one. I think that to me is going to is definitely like the true ending of the game so far. There's six endings of this game and I haven't gotten all six of them. But as far as I can tell, that one to me so far is my choice, my pick. Which one? What, what ending did you guys like more? Let me know. So, yeah, I guess I'll go back to wherever I was. Thank you for watching this one. So... As always, thank you guys very much for watching another series with me. Ah, man, I hope that we can find more games like this in the future. This game is freaking amazing. And I'll see you guys in my next playthrough. Put some suggestions down bottom of other games you'd like to see me play. And as always, you have a good one. See you then. Goodbye! Okay, you lost.